Hi, my name is Mark Winters and I'm going to be sharing with you my process for creating thumbnails and generating ideas. I use this process for um, any freelance illustration work that I do as well as gallery stuff. And to get started, I uh, have some concept stuff that I, I created here as well as some artwork supplied by my art director. And what I'm doing is I'm memorizing as many um, visual cues and symbols as I can because once I put this reference away it, it stays away and if only to keep from breaking my concentration while I'm doing the thumbnails because um, for me the thumbnail process takes a, a lot a lot of concentration so here we have a, a canvas um, I usually work a couple hundred pixels by a couple hundred pixels and um, I use a soft brush almost exclusively because I don't have to think about my mark making um, when I'm using the soft brush. Um, but use whatever brush is most comfortable for you. So I was, uh, when I was hired, I was given a brief. Um, basically, this is a, a magic card, and um, there's a character, he's a a tribalistic shaman who is wielding a ball of green magical energy. Um, there's not a lot of story to this, which is um, sometimes fun because my only real job is to is to make it look cool. Thumbnailing is my favorite, my absolute favorite part of the art making process. And, um, and it's funny because, you know, in art school, you just dreaded having to do thumbnails. And um, you, you would always hate the art director that would make you do like 50 thumbnails. And you're like, oh, what a drag. But um, I've, I've learned to love it. Um, and, 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 it's, and it's absolutely true. Um, one of the things that I, I love about it is that um, it's completely exploratory and you never have to share your thumbnails with art directors or, or um, your peers or anyone except for you guys. Um, and so you can just like make as many mistakes as you want to and, and actually my perspective on thumbnails ha has shifted over the years. Um, originally it was to create the, the absolute best image I could. Um, but then it became more get all the really terrible ideas out of the way. Because honestly, I'm like the, the laziest, most trite um, thinker that I know. Um, and so if I went with my first image, like the one that you're seeing here, it, it would be really really dull so um, it really helps me to know that my first five or six things are it's just gonna be garbage and so being that the OCD side of me just really wants to not embarrass myself and so the more thumbnails I do the less embarrassing my life will be and so usually um, when I'm doing thumbnails I'm thinking about one of three things um, first the most important thing is composition um, second would be values and third would be um, whatever story I can squeeze in there for me composition is everything it's why I I do this it's um, really the only thing that really excites me about um, doing this work um, if I can find a good uh, relationship between shapes and and value um, if I can find something that really fuels my imagination, then that can carry me through the entire image. 
Um, rarely have I come across like a subject matter or or anything that would make me excited enough and that be enough to keep me going in and of itself. Um, but if I can get some really interesting shapes um, and if I can surprise myself, then it doesn't matter what is happening inside that image. It doesn't matter um, if I'm having issues rendering a certain part. Um, um, those those shape relationships that are are enough to keep me excited in the project. And one thing you want to really be aware of while working on thumbnails is you really want to try to discover as many problems that you'll run into here versus later um, because it's a real drag to like have, have, have to come up with a way to like solve a really bad tangent that you didn't notice or that you created um, uh, later in the process or a bad value relationship between the foreground and background um, elements um, and so that's why I try to take my thumbnails to um, a higher level of completion than probably most is because I am one of those fools that will make a quick change based on my gut or whatever and immediately paint myself into a corner and it's, it's really uh, it's a real challenge when you're up against those all important deadlines. You never want to miss a deadline. So um, the more problems you can discover here when you're working at 200 by 200 pixels and have invested 10 to 15 minutes on an image, um, the better off you are. So really try to look for all those problems and really try to be aware of any goofy tangents or um, um, or where your form isn't going to be read, where the silhouette isn't going to be read real well. Um, and so I keep like asking myself about that. And a real quick note on um, idea generation. Um, a lot of times when I um, sit down to generate thumbnails or, or to brainstorm ideas like this, I, um, I'll first write, write myself a short story. Um, maybe just one page, maybe just a few paragraphs. Um, and uh, the reason I do that is it kind of helps me personally to access other parts of my imagination, other parts that I don't use day to day when I'm just image making. It seems to like tap that other part of my brain and, um, and it really helps me to avoid relying on the same sort of visual shortcuts and the same sort of visual tricks that I'll lean on almost like as a crutch to put an image together. So yeah, writing sometimes gives me novel ways of, of problem solving that I normally don't, you know, quote unquote, see. But, and I've heard of other people um, doing similar things. Um, instead of, if you normally work with a pencil and a paper, maybe you used uh, sheets of cut paper, uh, craft papers, or, or um, using a different medium, like uh, generating ideas with watercolor, or, or um, if you don't normally use um, Sculpey or, or modeling clays to, to, to use that to help you um, do concept work. Um, because using different tools has different sort of sh shortcuts, so um, it, it can lead you into different and unexpected directions. 
So as you can see here, I uh, went ahead and sped up the video so that um, we don't sit together for, what was it, three hours while I generate these, I think, ten thumbnails. But the process is, is for me, uh, the same. You can see me carving out shapes um, in the background there. Um, I'm trying to keep your eye focused in one particular area. So here's going to be an example of um, coming up with a different solution when the one that I'm imagining isn't isn't working out. Um, I don't really enjoy struggling with uh, with an image, so if it's not working out for me, um, I'll go ahead and cannibalize what I'm working on, and then just clear my mind as to what I what my intentions were and um, go ahead and just start exploring um, freely and finding something that is working a little bit more naturally.
I think it's worth noting that um, for me, um, this thumbnail part of the process doesn't ever really end for me. Um, these very images, these very thumbnails, um, whichever one I choose to proceed with, um, often ends up being the final image itself. I find that it's kind of inefficient to do a thumbnail drawing, then do another drawing for the sketch phase, and then yet another drawing for the final illustration. I choose to simply blow up this you know, tiny thumbnail to the sketch size, refine that thumbnail, add key details, and um, simply use that for the sketch itself. I'll photograph reference to help with um, details and anatomy and, and such, but by and large, these little thumbnails are what ends up being the final images.
So here I'm um, just um, trying to select my favorite ones, the ones that I think are more different from each other and um, the ones that I think can um, keep me interested long enough. And so now I'm just ditching, just throwing away uh, the ones that I'm uninterested in and I'm creating li these little groups that I can work within because I might create variations um, of each one, and ideally, I would I would um, just take the general idea and try to spin it further um, from what I came up with the first time. But with the recording of this video and um, uh, the situation being what it is, I, I I I didn't really do all that many this time around.
and here um, is where I start experimenting with a little color with the, just the colorized layer. Hopefully my values are um, into a point where I don't have to um, mess with it too much. I can just work on that colorized layer and, and find what I need. And as far as the color goes, um, it's kind of been predefined in this particular um, instance. Like you'll see, I'll do more colorized layers and, and they'll all be kind of a similar approach. And that's only because the art director gave me um, a general um, guideline as far as uh, the color um, relationships go. But normally I will, uh, I'll go nutty and um, and, and try to come up with the either one it, it's going to be the m most outlandish color scheme I can come up with only because um, it tickles me to do so or um, sometimes you kind of have to intellectually choose a, a color scheme that that works best for um, the mood and the story that um, you're working with You can see here I, I went back and I'm colorizing the, the original drawing because I went back and looked um, and while there are some significant changes between the revised little thumbnail and, and the old one, I, I really kind of liked uh, the first stab and, and, and that's okay too.
Okay, from here I am uh, just reviewing everything one last time. Comparing them to each other. And uh, here I'm uh, pulling up my brief, um, just reviewing it, make sure I didn't miss any anything important. And uh, these four images are what I use to um, guide my model for the photo shoot we did over this uh, this last weekend. And I'm indulging myself here with a little uh, noodling. And this should be just about it. Um, well, thanks for watching, and I hope uh, you got something out of it. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, find me at my website. And uh, there's all my Twitter and Facebook information there, so uh, shoot me any questions that you might have. Thanks.